V. Ms. V is a singer, musician, writer, and comedian. All right. And New Hampshire's based artist who performs locally and nationally. She started in Forest City, Arkansas. I always want to say Arkansas. Arkansas at age 10. And performed with Lorenzo Smith and Jackie Tony Smith. Ms. V served as a minister of music at several... Here? Here? Arkansas? East Arkansas. East. Sorry, typo. I told you I worked all night on these, right? My halo. East Arkansas churches. That's serious stuff. Okay. She sang background for the recording artist Courtney Franklin. She uh, attended Lorenzo's School of Contemporary Music. She opened for National Art Artist Fantasia uh -huh. and David Hollister. Yeah. yeah. Ms. V has a broad repertoire of groove, funk, blues, and soul. Ms. V, everybody. Now y'all give it up for me. Now y'all give it up. They done turned my mic off. They done turned my mic off already. All right, y'all. I'm going to take y'all on a trip. My name is V. They call me Country Girl V. I hail from uh, Memphis, Tennessee, by way of Forest City, Arkansas. And every time I perform, people ask me, how the hell did you end up in New Hampshire? <laughs> And so I'm gonna take y'all on that journey. I ran away from home after 18 years of marriage. My husband told me I changed. I said, I didn't change, I grew the hell up, you know? He became a police officer, I became an activist. I'm out in the street yelling, F the police! But then I had to go home and F the police. So that wasn't working out. <laughs> so my first song is about divorce and it goes a little bit like this.
a wonderful thing. Freedom and divorce and it's all fun and games. You know that first round of divorce and when you first go out on a date and see, woo, and you're free. Until the holidays roll around, you realize you got to spend your first Christmas alone. And when you've been married for 18 years, that's pretty tough. And so I wrote this song. It's called First Christmas Without You. It is bluesy, even though it has a Christmas theme, but I'm telling a story here. <laughs>
Thomas. <laughs> Then I had to enter on to the dating scene. Lord have mercy. Try dating in New Hampshire as a black girl from Memphis, Tennessee. <laughs> Woo! Got a little sad. I started to miss home a little bit. I thought I almost wanted to go back home. Yeah. Sung a lot of Ray Charles. So I'm going to do one of Ray Charles' songs and I put my own spin to it. So I hope you like it. Called Drowning My Own Tears. Treated anymore. 
anymore. You know, chivalry is dead and everything. And, you know, people think they buy you a drink and they're supposed to be able to take you home, right, ladies? That's not how it works. I wrote a song about it with one of my friends, Melissa Dawn Turner. And uh, it goes a little something like this. And if you can't come like this, then don't come to me at all. Sugar, my name ain't honey. Wipe away your smile. I don't find you funny. What happened to sending flowers and writing sweet love letters? Why don't you mind your mess? I'm sure your mama taught you better. Cause girls, we like long walks and sweet talks and a little romance. Just can't be my man. Y'all ready? Hey, hey, Prince Charming. I think you're kind of cute. And I bet you got some money to down in your dookie suit. You paid for dinner, but it don't give you no right to expect any more than just a sweet little kiss good night. Batteries, baby. Hey, because girls, we like love walks and sweet talks and all in the romance. If you can't treat me like a lady, you just can't be my man. Make sure you tip the service. <laughs> and girls, we like long walks and sweet talks and a little romance. If you can't treat me like a lady, you just can be my man. If you can't treat me like a lady, you just can't be my man. Such a little search radius. You know, I was trying to find a black man when I first got here, because I'm you know, I don't remember since I had to find a black man, and that was real hard. So first I set the search out to Boston, couldn't find one. Set it up to Portsmouth and couldn't find one. I finally found a black man in Hartford, Connecticut. That relationship was going great until his wife started tripping. <laughs> that did not work out well at all. But then I had to come to realize that sometimes that special somebody that you're looking for may not come in the packaging that you think it's gonna come in. Might not come in the wrapper that you think it's gonna come in. And if you look with your color shades on, you might not see what you need. But I moseyed up the girl in New Hampshire one day and I found a little something I needed. I wrote a song about it. Y'all wanna hear it? Yeah. Here it go. 